Okay, what drug can do this? What drug will optimize body weight? It will also reverse and prevent hypertension, will reverse and prevent diabetes, will reverse and prevent coronary artery disease, will prevent gallstones, will prevent constipation, will prevent abdominal pressure syndrome as described by Dennis Burkett, including varicose veins, varicocele, diverticulosis, diverticulitis, colon carcinoma, colon polyps, uh, appendicitis, hiatal hernia of the stomach into the chest with gastroesophageal reflux, GERD, okay, then subsequent esophagitis, Barrett's esophagus, esophageal carcinoma, um, prevents inflammatory bowel disease, ulcerative colitis, Crohn's disease, irritable bowel syndrome, prevents autoimmune disease, prevents leaky gut, prevents stroke, prevents, uh, reduces the risk of dementia dramatically, prevents spinal degeneration with all these diseases that all go together, DISH, diffuse idiopathic skeletal hyperostosis, OPLL, ossification of the posterior longitudinal ligament, OLF, ossification of the ligament and flavum, Bostrop's disease, they're all really a uh, variation of the same theme. There is no drug that can do this. There's no drug that can do any one of these long-term reliably, okay, by itself. But the low-fat, low-sodium vegan diet with no oil, it easily does all of these things simultaneously, like that. So why is that? Why is it so powerful? And isn't it obvious? Because it is the species-specific optimal diet for humans. Yes, it's true, we're omnivores, we can colonize the entire planet and manage to get by, but for optimal health longevity, this is the way to go. And why would that be the case? Again, because it's a species-specific optimal diet. And it's the only thing that makes sense when you look at it in detail, if you really start studying this stuff, you'll see that everything will make sense. What I mean by that is the optimal health of the patients that try this diet, the epidemiology, it'll all match up, the pathophysiology, all the good stuff's in the plants, the potassium, the magnesium, the antioxidants, the vitamin C, okay, it, it's all there, the nitrate precursors and nitric oxide. It's all there in the plants to make all the good things happen. You'll see in the meat and the processed food, all the bad stuff is there. So it totally makes sense, all the way down to the molecular biology of it. Um, it's internally consistent, you know. Uh, so uh, there it is.